Hey loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Tyler and today is episode 26 of the journal session series. This is an interactive series where we journal together and I offer you prompts as well as time and space to write out your answers. And today's prompts are all about self-discovery. So if you're interested, grab your pen and a journal and let's get started. So question number one is what were you like when you were young and what qualities do you miss about yourself at a young age? I always like to think about how I was as a child because when you're younger you're a lot more carefree and expressive and we lose a lot of these qualities as we get older so it's important to go back into your childhood and think about certain things about yourself that you really adored or admired whether it was your self-expression whether it was the hobbies that you were into and the thing is too is that sometimes when we're younger we don't always get to explore the things that we're interested in and as we get older and these qualities get stripped away from us it's really hard to get back to who we were at the core so taking certain qualities about yourself from when you were younger and applying it into your adulthood really does help to heal your inner child and it also helps you to get back to who you truly are that's something that i really admire about kids as well is that they get to live life from a pure perspective because of the fact that they haven't been tainted with the world and just being an adult and having to survive they get to live life to the way that it's truly meant to be lived and i feel we can always take qualities and learn things from children that will really help us to live that peaceful happy and just abundant life once we get older we don't really have as much time to do the things that make us happy or the things that we used to do when we were younger so it's really important as well in your free time to get back to doing those things that you used to love to do because it does bring a lot of happiness and it does bring a lot of inner child healing so the next question is, what did you want to be when you grew up and what did you think life as a grown-up would be like? The things that we wanted to do when we were younger tell us a lot about who we really are and a lot of the stuff that I saw myself doing when I was older, I ended up doing and it really was something that I was passionate about. Two, another thing is when I was younger and I would see adults, a part of me did want to be an adult and you know how they always say like enjoy your childhood, you do not want to grow up, <laughs> that is so true. But for me personally, I just saw the freedom that adults had and the fact that they can just do anything they wanted. That's what really made me curious about being an adult. And I don't know if you guys know about Wanna Do City, if you know about Wanna Do City and you got the chance to go you're lit because that was the coolest experience ever as a kid and when i went and just seeing all of the different jobs and everything that you can do it really just made it seem like a world full of possibilities and the perspective was completely different as a child the fact that we're so creative and that we have big dreams and goals really shows us a lot about life itself because as we get older they try to strip that from us because they don't want us to live out these big grand and abundant lives so they tell us that certain things aren't possible and that you have to live in a certain way and they keep you stuck within this system when in reality life really is what you make it and a lot of people get scared to go out and chase their dreams or to follow those dreams that they had since childhood because of the fact that they're just constantly told that it's unrealistic and that it's not possible and that only a few can do these things. So the world purposely plants that seed of doubt in your mind so that you don't live up to your true potential and you don't become who you really are meant to be. As kids, we're the ultimate alchemists in the sense that we can take nothing and make it into something. So for example, a kid taking a pile of rocks and building a city from it or taking cardboard and things from around the house and making a car. So imagine if we were able to just keep that energy and bring that into our adulthood and still have that same mindset of being able to make something from nothing imagine the types of things that we would be able to create and imagine and bring into reality with that abundance mindset it's also like asking yourself the question of what would you do if you knew it wouldn't fail a lot of us we don't live up to who we truly are because we don't believe that we'll find success in doing the things that we love to do. What a lot of people don't realize is that being authentic and living in authenticity is living in a higher vibration, which is always going to bring you success. It's always going to bring you abundance. So be true to who you are and do things that you genuinely love, even if that looks different from what other people like. 
So the next question is, what baggage have you picked up since you were little? This question can be a little tricky because there's a lot of things that happened in our childhood that we don't necessarily remember because we were so young. So something that really helped me with this is to think back on the most significant moments or memories or situations that happened and that will help you to really understand some of the baggage that you may have picked up as well as certain things that you may need to overcome you guys a really good example by sharing my answer to this prompt with you guys so for me the baggage that i picked up was the weight of others opinions and criticism and this was something really big for me throughout my whole life because a lot of the time i was called weird i was looked at as weird i was just shamed for being me honestly and that really caused me to suppress who i was and to not feel as confident in being my authentic self and expressing myself in the ways that i wanted to express myself and i was also a very sensitive kid whenever somebody would say something and there was a certain energy behind it that was negative i would almost automatically cry i was very sensitive and i was also very shy as well and it wasn't until i got older and i started doing my inner healing that i realized that i really was not shy i was actually a very outgoing kid but it was the fact that i was constantly being ridiculed and belittled and just called names that made me go into my shell and not express myself as i was i was never really meant to be shy and that really wasn't who i was at my core i was a very expressive kid and it was just the fact that i was sensitive to other people's energy that made me such a closed off person as well as the fact that i was constantly judged which made me go into my shell so even if you do have a lot of baggage to unpack when it comes to your childhood do not be scared and do not be discouraged from going deep within and looking back into certain events because you will learn a lot about yourself. Not only that, but you will be able to heal and release those moments and those memories, as well as those concepts and belief systems that came with those specific experiences. You can really learn a lot about yourself when you think back on your childhood and certain things that you went through, and it'll really help you awaken to who you really are. The next question is, what do you like and dislike, and what makes you laugh, cry, and feel afraid? I put all of these together because I didn't want to make it individually a question, but what better way to get to know yourself than to ask these questions? Whenever I get to know somebody else, I always ask these types of questions, especially if it's somebody that I'm dealing with romantically, but these are a really good way to get to know yourself. Another thing that you can do with these questions right here, if you didn't already, is ask yourself why as well and write out the answer to why you feel the way that you feel about each one. So why it is that a certain thing makes you cry, why it is that you love a certain thing, why it is that you don't like a certain thing, and etc. for each one. Next question is, what kinds of people do you love to be around and why and then what qualities do you have in common? Most of the time, what we admire in someone else is what we either embody within ourselves or something that we want to embody. So asking yourself about the types of people that you like to be around can tell you a lot about who you are as a person. And even if those qualities are something that you haven't yet embodied, it is important to surround yourself with people that you feel are like-minded and that do have certain qualities that you want to embody. We really do become like the people that we surround ourselves with the most and it's not always a conscious effort but it happens mostly on a subconscious level. We're all a mirror and reflection to each other so usually what you see in someone else that you dislike can sometimes be something that you dislike within yourself and vice versa when it comes to something that you like in a person that can show you what it is that you like about yourself. I like to surround myself around people that are carefree, that are free spirited, that are authentic because that's a lot of what I like to portray and put out into the world and surrounding myself around people that are like that also helps me to be more in my authenticity. Last but not least, what feeds your soul and makes you feel alive?
I'm always making time to do things that really feed my spirit because it fuels you in such a positive way, especially with all the things that may go on on a day to day. It really does help you to see the beauty in life. I'm someone that's really big on experiences and just creating memories and doing fun things because I feel like that's such a big part of life. And it does help me to boost my creativity as well. And I know for some, it's hard to identify what it is that really sets your soul on fire. But maybe you haven't found that thing yet. And that's why it's so important as well to try new things and to get out there and to just do something out of your comfort zone because your most amazing memories or just activities and hobbies can still be yet to come. So really make sure that you're putting yourself out there, that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and that you're being open to trying new things. When you're stuck in a specific cycle and you're just used to doing the same things all the time, it does really get to a point where life becomes dull and it's not as exciting. You don't get as excited to wake up and take on the day because you're stuck in a routine. That's why I always take time to do something different. Even if it's just something small, I make sure that I'm always doing something to kind of change up the routine and something that will just bring out some excitement as well. That's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed these prompts and if if you enjoyed be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to stay tuned for the next session and i will see you guys later peace and much love